Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, today I'm pointing the camera at headlights because we're going to try some headlight restoration and we're going to use this kit because it was the cheapest one on eBay. So we're going to give that a bash. So, the first thing that we need to do is we need to clean the headlights, really. So we'll get some soapy water and we'll polish them off a bit. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell all your mates about this really sick channel. So I'll get, so, so I can do this as a job instead of um, doing something proper. Right, we'll clean that because we need both hands again. All right, so we've washed it as good as possible, or as good as it's going to wash up. And the next thing is to mask off around the headlight. And the kit does come with some masking tape in it, but it's the smallest roll. Um, well, waste of time, so I'll put some of this on it. So I'm just going to mask around it, which is self explanatory, really. Right, so you can see a top quality masking job. It's, uh, I'm going to stay away from the edge of the light anyway because the shape of it, you're meant to keep these things flat as you're, uh, as you're buffing or as you're machining, whatever you want to call it. That's not fucking machining, is it? Main bit I want to get is this here. Um, and down here I'm probably just going to polish rather than use too much abrasive on it. But this is what you get in the kit. You get some polishing paste. You get some, see what I said about the uh, masking tape being a waste of time. Uh, that's a pad for the drill. That screws into there. And that is UV lacquer to put on afterwards. But when you put that in it actually looks worse than before you started polishing sponge and different levels of sandpaper 1200s 800s and i think it's 2000s yeah so you start with the lowest number work your way up and then we spray a bit of water on to lubricate it soapy water is better and you work your way up and then you start polishing so let's do that so we've got our 800s on and you want to be flat against the glass, well, plastic, and you want to hold it as still as possible. And not too much speed, more than this, obviously, otherwise you might as well just do it by hand. You're just taking the top layer off, um, but you do need two hands because you need to hold the back of the drill, really, otherwise you're just going to go, yeah, like that. So I'm going to do that for a little bit. Like I say, I'm staying away from this bottom edge because it's not bad down there. I'm just going to polish that. And the shape of these headlights does make it awkward. But let's go for it in a big way. How it looks now. And we'll see where we need to go more and where we've not done enough. I say it's mainly up here where we're concentrating on. And for the 800, you know, it's not perfect, but quite abrasive so I'm going to go down to the 12s. Right, so this is after I do the 1200s. Oh, and as you can see, the headlight at the moment looks worse than it did before. So let's go over it with that with 2000s and then we'll start polishing. Right, so this is after 2000s, as you've probably guessed. And next, we're gonna, well, I hope we're gonna start making it a little better because at the moment we've just made it look worse. So we're gonna use some polish. Now, we just said to mix this polish, and I have mixed it, but not as well as I probably would have hoped for. I'm gonna give that a mix and then dab it on here, dab it on there, bit of dib dab dab. Use someone else's drill. So, this is going to go everywhere, but, as you can see, I'm, yeah, it needs some water on that as well, but let's do that with two hands. Let's 
seems to be coming up a bit. Right, so we've gone over that with some polish now for a, not a long time. We'll see how it looks underneath. Another thing is, is I think I'm going to have to go car wash, aren't I? But let's see how this looks underneath. And now, you know what? That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. So far, anyway. So I find an old lot of more melted in it somewhere. Needs a bit more around there. For a tenner. That's pretty good. I mean, there's still loads of polish on it, so it still doesn't look great, but. Just give it another going over, and then I think. That'll be pretty much right. And there we have it, one side is done. Um, I'm not going to lie and say it looks like a new light because it doesn't, but you know what, for a tenner, quite impressed with that. Um, it's not taking a long time. I could go further with the polishing, but well, I can't be bothered. And it does look a lot better than it did. And apart from the rest of the car looking worse than it did, because it's everywhere. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that for what it's cost and the effort involved. Just have to get car washed on my own then. So yeah, my verdict is that's a good little kit for a tenner on eBay. Yeah, well worth it. Well, as you can see, it's done an outstanding job and it looks beautiful. Apart from the polish juice all over it. So let's go and wash that off and see how it looks. I've not bothered putting the. Oh, this is the red light, by the way. Didn't already know that. I've not bothered putting the UV coating on because I'm going to get the car washed. So I'll put that on in a few days, but you need to leave it out the sun um, and out the rain to dry on, which I don't think we're going to get either of today. So but it's going to get wet. So let's, uh, let's go and wash it and see how happy it looks. Uh, this is always risky in a same one. We're going through car wash, so let's see how wet we get. And let's await all the uh, swirl mark comments. Because detailers, I mean, detailers would love this car anyway. I mean, it's a girl car. Another thing is, is don't wear your good gear if you're going to do this, because uh, it goes everywhere. But let's go in for this in a big way. Oh, yes. Let's wait for water coming in. So there we have a nice cleanish with headlights that are shinyish. Another little trick that I've done is I've just painted behind the wheel trims, just took the wheel trims off and give them a little bit of paint because they were a bit rusty. Not bad, but it just looks a bit better. And if you've stuck with this video so far and you've seen it through, and we'll treat you to some Saruda dance storm foot tapping.